Hi folks, I am Peter Gurphy and I'm back with another uh, Lightroom Raw image edit. This time it's an image of my daughter, Ida. Um, it's a nice image, uh, but it really needs a little bit of a little bit of tweaking in Lightroom to sort of pop. Um, let's start with lens correction. I always, not always, but I usually start with lens correction because that gives me a kind of a, a resetted image where I've taken away the the vignetting and other optical uh, optical stuff that the, the the lens does to the image. Um, by the way, the image is taken with a Nikon D ninety fifty millimeter one point eight lens, one one four thousandths of a second. At f1.8, um, it's taken in yeah in August 2009. Normally with this lens, I don't go all the way up to or down to how um, depends on how you see it 1.8 because really shallow depth of field. So I usually stop down to two or 2.2 when I use it. Anyway, let's have a look at white balance. White balance. Um, I think with an image like this, I could use the her eyes as a as a good starting point, and I think that's uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I can always come back and change the white balance later on if I uh, if I feel it's a little too magenta or a little too blue, etc. You know this white balance thing is very very difficult. But let's stick with what I have right now. I also think that I want to increase the exposure very slightly. There we go. It's pretty it's pretty well exposed image. Um, I think that's good. Now what I want to do, I want to pick one of my what I call look and feel presets. And I think I'm gonna go with a color version this time. Um, so let's just go in and check which one I prefer. That one is pretty good, since it's a soft, soft image. Uh, it's, a, it's a preset where they sort of adds a little bit of softness to the image, and since it's a child, that's that's good. But I want I want some punch in this one, so let's go with the warm bright. This preset, the color warm hard bright image, uh, preset, and yeah, that's a good starting point. Now, what I want to do, if I look at this image, if I sit back and, and watch it from a from a distance, what I want to do, I want to darken her her vest down here. It's way too bright. It competes with 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 the face and her and her uh, and her eyes. So that's something that I want to do. I also maybe want to try to add a bit of contrast to the brick wall and to the sort of clothes. See what happens. And yeah, I want to softer her, soften her face up a little bit, just a little bit. So it, you know, she's a she's a small child. So I want I want the image to her face to be soft. And I may also want to brighten and add some contrast to her eyes. We'll see. We'll see. Let's start with um, adding, sorry, darkening the jacket. Because so I think that's very important. That's something we need to do. And minus one is a little too much. But maybe something like in the minus 80, minus 080 range. That's pretty good. Let's then soften up her her face or her her skin. And let's pull back on the clarity a little bit. Minus 44 is definitely gonna be a little too much. And I don't want to add that to her eyes because I want her eyes to be. You know, nice and sharp and a little crispy. 
So, yeah, it's, that's good. Let's see where I've painted. Hmm? Perfect. Well, not perfect, but enough. Good enough, good enough. I'll pull back a little bit on the clarity slider now. That's good. She's looking really cute now. Let's see if we can add some clarity and brighten her eyes just a little bit. And I normally do this while I'm zoomed in to 100%. But let's make it. Let's make it a little quick now for the sake of the video. And that's too bright. I mean, you really want to be careful when you're doing this because people are people are going to notice straight away that you overdone it. You know, we're very sensitive to what the eyes look like. So, don't go overboard, friends. Okay, that's it. I've brightened the eyes, I've added a bit of clarity to the eyes, softened her skin, darkened the her, her jacket and her um, clothes. Let's see what a little bit of well, actually, quite a bit of contrast it does to the uh, to the wall and to the uh, to her clothes. Contrast. Let's really overdo it so we can see what's what's happening. And you can tell that it's darkening as well as adding adding a lot of saturation to the areas that I'm painting that I'm painting. And so. I don't mind that it's becoming darker. That's actually good. But what I don't like is the added saturation. So I think I'm going to need to pull back a little bit on the saturation slider. There we go. That's looking good. That's looking good. Yeah. Pretty good. One last thing that I'm going to do. Yeah, one last thing that I'm going to do is. Uh, is uh, remove these. I'm gonna remove these red spots right here and see, because I think those are a little bit distracting. How does that look? What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I can tell it's a little bit oversaturated. Her eyes. Uh, sorry, her her her. Uh, hair is not that yellow um, in real life so let's give it a try see what we can do I mean it's obviously it's pretty beautiful I mean this color on her hair is is quite quite beautiful and she's not gray that I know looks like she's gray now but let's That's perfect. Perfect. Let's see where we started. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's quite a difference, if you ask me. Um, I think this is a, I mean, if you, if you shoot RAW and you don't edit your RAW files and you're watching this video, I really hope you get started. And, because it's a huge difference. Um, okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.